Why? Because I can. Yeah. Why? Because I can. Whoop. Why? Because I can. Yeah. Why? Because I can. Whoop. Why? Because I can. Ha. Why? Because I can. Yeah. Why? Because I can. Ha. Why? Because I can. Why? Because I can. Skip goes hard. Yes, I am the man. Don't have no time for no hoes. Rather have a room full of retro. Skip goes hard, man. Y'all know what it is. I am and will always be the most underrated, never duplicated, funniest, darkest sneaker YouTuber in the game. Facts. Today's date is December 18, 2019. Y'all ready to tell Y'all know what it is. Y'all definitely see the thumbnail. Man, earlier today, I did a video on the Brit 11s and the bright highlighter color Yeezys. That's like the color of these Air Max 2013s right here. Y'all know what it is. Like I said earlier, I did a video. Uh, it's kind of like Brand, Brand 11 versus those Yeezys. And the versus, it wasn't which one looks the best. It's the fact that they both released on December 14, 2019. And, of course, it being a Brand 11, it outsold those Yeezys. And people were saying, okay, people were saying that the Yeezys were, were um, sitting. Well, of course, compared to a hyped up as Bread 11, of course those Yeezys are going to sit. So, man, I decided to go ahead and do it on foot on those Yeezys and pr pretty much give it their own video, man. So, let's get All it. All right, man, we got the Yeezy 350 V2 Yee Heels. Yee Chills. Man, I'm, I, I can't I can't get it. I can't get it. Well, anyway, um, I, I think... One of the main reasons why this shoe did not really sell out, didn't really do selling numbers, is the fact that you got the black ones that's coming out this Friday. You know what I mean? And people, you know, pretty much, some people have to pick and choose. Be like, well, do I want these or do I want the black ones? I will admit that the black ones, the black ones look way better than these right here, man. But I do like bright colors on shoes. Hence the reason why I got the Nike air max 2013s and then i have these uh you know the uh presto reacts right here you know what i mean i did a video on these right here earlier in the year and me being dark dark people like myself i know i saw i love bright bright colors that's why i'm attracted to these right here man so i know i definitely gotta put these on feet with some black jogger pants so these shoes can stand out but this is a V2, so you know uh, most V2s have that little uh, pull tab in the back. When you look at it, you got the three stripes right there underneath the tongue, behind the tongue, which is, you know, Adidas three stripes. And you have the kind of uh, like, maybe like black and white kind of like zebra-ish pattern. It's not really like a strong zebra pa pattern, but you got all the like the little black stripes and stuff like that. Man, uh, on the bottom is pure volt, you know what I mean? Nothing, nothing too serious. And you got that boost right there. This shoe looks as if it would glow in the dark, but when you turn the lights out, you ain't gonna see nothing. Facts. Uh, the shoelaces is kind of like a mint green. I really don't like the color of the shoelaces. I believe the shoelaces should be the same color as the shoe, uh, or pretty much this midsole right here, that bright light bolt color. And this is kind of like a little light mint green color on the shoelaces. I'm not really. I'm not really digging that. But one thing about these that kind of has that static look is this right here, how it's clear. Now, I don't know what this is called right here. I'm pretty sure Yeezys, this does have a name for it with this little clear part right here. But it's just like the statics. Where are my statics? Just like my statics right here, you got that little clear part right there on the shoes. And then when you look at them, I got lids falling down. I got doors falling down. And then the black statics is not, you can't really see it, but you got like, kind of like, you know, like the little stripe thing right there. Now, these shoes right here might remind you of the frozen yellow Yeezy 350s or the McChickens. There's a nickname to McChickens. Now, these have that kind of like zebra pattern as if like the white zebras which are going to restock at the end of this week then you got that uh supply right there i believe you know like yeezy supply sply then got 350 on the size right there this is dead stock you know on the bottom of these you got that brown on the bottom and then right here you know what i mean you got that pier bolt right here dead stock 
dead stock. Which ones do you all prefer? 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 Do you like the uh the McChickens, or do you like the 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 ye the Yeshels? Not bad if I'm messing it up. But if you compare these together, these are way brighter than the uh the McChickens. And then when you turn them around, they both got that pull tab in the back, but you got this brown stripe coming up the back of the heel, and which on the newer ones right here, the Yee Shields, whatever, there is no. You can see like a little stripe, but it's not really brown like the uh, McChickens, right? You know, right there. But look, I mean, that's mainly it, man. You got Adidas on the inside of the shoe, man. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on feet. We're gonna pay footsie for a little bit, and then we're gonna close out this video. So, uh,. Pan down to the feet. Look at All right, yo, here we go, man. We got the Yeezy 350 V2 Boost. Yeezy's. I hope I'm saying this, the damn name of these shoes correctly. Good grief. But yeah, man, we got them on feet. I wanted to go ahead with some regular black-ass joggers just to really bring out the shoes. These are size 11. They are comfortable. People say you should go up half a size. With Yeezy 350s, they run kind of small. But for what I remember, Yeezys always usually runs big. You know what I mean? Like, if you wear NMDs or any other Yeezys, you usually got to go up half a size compared to a Nike or a Jordan. You know what I mean? So they say. But these feel really, really good, man. Like you said, you can't beat them with a stick. This is a size 11. And there's nothing really, nothing really too special with them. You know what I mean? You got the black ones coming out, I believe, on Friday. Friday, Friday, yeah, Friday. Tomorrow, the animal print threes come out. You know what I mean? So, like I said, man, these companies are not playing no games when it's coming to releasing these shoes. They know December is here, and they know people are going to do what they can to get these dang shoes. You know what I mean? And then we got a, like I said, we got the McChicken right there. McChickens on deck. All right there. Which one do y'all like? Look at that. You know what I mean? Like I said. Ow! Ow! Look at that. They feel good, man. They, these do feel Yeezys. Yeezys do feel good, man. They're on feet. And, yup, that is pretty much it, y'all. Man, look, I'm Skip Goes Hard. Y'all know what it is, man. The most underrated, never duplicated sneaker YouTube in the game. Like the video, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. That is it on the road to 10,000 subs. This is the first time you're watching me. Go ahead and ting ling ding that bell. Subscribe to the channel. Every time you see a video, you see black and me wearing red gloves, old man glasses on deck. Hold it down, man. And look, that's mainly it, man. Y'all take care. I'm Skip Goes Hard, the most underrated, never duplicated, funniest, darkest sneaker YouTube in the game. Like the video, leave a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Y'all take care. Until next time. And tomorrow, we're going to see if I uh, hit on these black ones. I might, well, actually, I'll be at work, so I won't get a chance to go live. But I'll let y'all know. I'll keep y'all updated, man. Let's get it. Peace.